Creatine is a steroid. Creatine causes weight gain from fat. Creatine causes kidney damage. Creatine makes you bold. No, man. What kind of weirdos have you been listening to all this time? Hey guys, my name is Steven, in case you haven't watched any of my other videos, and I am here to tell you a few things about creatine monohydrate today. I'm an avid gym goer. I've been going to the gym every single day or six days a week for the past two years. I have been using creatine during those two years, and I would like to let you know everything there is to know about creatine and to share my experience with you. Now, creatine is usually known for its performance enhancing effects, and there are a lot of benefits with basically next to no downsides. Now, before Beforehand, I would like to let you know that yes, creatine does have a performance enhancing effect. According to numerous articles that I've read and what Dr. Andrew Huberman has been saying in some of his videos, studies show that your power output is far higher when supplementing creatine. And it's not by a small amount either. It can go all the way up to around 20%. That's a huge increase. By the way, if you don't know, Dr. Andrew Huberman is like a PhD and a really remarkable guy who knows pretty much what the hell he's talking about. If you don't know who he is, I'd highly recommend you watch some of his videos. I'm going to leave his channel down in the description so you can check it out whenever you want. These studies include activities like swimming, jumping, sprinting, and lifting weights. Creatine also hydrates your body more effectively because of how it brings water in more efficiently to various parts of the body. Indirectly, it helps your body increase the lean mass because of the water it brings into the muscles. It also allows you to get stronger and quicker over time, meaning you'll be able to generate more hypertrophy, which helps dramatically with building muscle. Real quick guys, I just want to let you know that I'll only be talking about creatine monohydrate in this video and not all about any other version of creatine that's on the market right now. I don't believe you need any of those shit supplements, they're not worthwhile, and I'm not like other YouTubers who are going to try to sell you their shitty supplements and tell you that they, they are way better than creatine monohydrate. It's not true. Creatine hydrate, monohydrate is the best in the market. And hey, if you want any more of my genuine content where I don't try to sell you any other garbage like other YouTubers are doing right now on the platform, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment or leave a like so that this video gets recommended to more awesome people just like you who also want to find out more about creatine. Anyway, I will do a quick rundown of some of the main benefits that I found on creatine on examine.com, which is an extremely reputable website that allows you to read a bunch of research articles that are professionally done for free. Studies suggest that creatine may reduce muscle damage and inflammation, potentially leading to faster recovery between workouts. But Steven, I heard that creatine isn't safe. No, no, that's not true. Creatine monohydrate is generally safe as long as you use it within the recommended doses and it's very well tolerated. It is one of the most studied dietary supplements and adverse effects are extremely rare. Creatine is also seen to reduce fatigue levels in your body. And hey, if you're vegan, creatine will actually have an even better impact on you because vegans tend to have a far lower amount of baseline creatine because of your dietary restrictions. Because creatine is literally in all the meat you eat. It is a natural product. Interestingly enough, creatine also has an impact on brain health. Research has shown that creatine even gives a few cognitive benefits. My experience with creatine is very similar to everything I've mentioned in this video. My strength and muscle progression is a lot faster than when I'm not using creatine. And also, when I'm looking in the mirror, I can see that my muscles are a lot fuller. Now obviously, after hearing all this, you may be wondering, okay, but how much should I use? In terms of dosage, it kind of varies between person to person, especially depending on your body weight. According to Dr. Andrew Huberman, who has asked the experts, they told him that if you are around 180 pounds or 80-ish kilos, then five grams of creatine per day is sufficient for full muscle saturation. If you're heavier, say around 220 or 230 pounds, then around 10 to 15 grams of creatine should be more than sufficient. In my opinion, and the opinion of someone like Derek for more plates, more dates, even 5 grams a day is enough for most people unless you weigh a lot more because you're very tall or you have a lot of muscle on you. If you're a lot lighter than 180 pounds or 80-ish kilos, then even 3 to 5 grams of creatine per day will be sufficient. And yes, when I say per day, I mean every single day of the week, even on days that you are not going to the gym. I personally use 5 grams of creatine per day and I am about 100 kilos as of recording this video. Okay guys, right now I would quickly like to ask you to pause this video and look for creatine monohydrate near where you live from some Kind of local store maybe like a web store 
post it in the comments down below how much that creatine costs and also where you're from. I'm very interested to see the differences in cost when it comes to country. Also, when it comes to creatine and other supplements, just remember that the price is actually a lot better than what you usually think. When you look at a pot, it usually says something like maybe like 30 or 40 euros or dollars or whatever. But you have to keep in mind that you're probably using like one scoop of five grams a day. So your daily usage is five grams. And if there's like, I don't know, like 100 grams in a pot, well, then you can see how the cost is diluted and the cost is pretty much negligible at this point. It's not a lot. It's very cheap. Now, you may have heard someone say that you need to do a loading phase while you're on creatine. Now, a loading phase is basically when you make use of more than the recommended dose in order to get to those benefits of having full creatine stores quicker, which is basically known as full creatine to muscle saturation. When your muscles literally cannot take in any more creatine, that's when you get the full benefit of creatine. Just simply taking the recommended dosage of creatine to reach full saturation is perfect. You may wonder a few things as well, like when should I take creatine? Whenever, it really doesn't matter. Just do it whenever it suits you. If you wanna do it in the morning, take it in the morning. If you wanna take it at night, take it at night. Just be sure to use creatine every single day. What should I take creatine with? Just try and dilute it with anything that you feel comfortable drinking. I personally put put it in water in the morning. I just put it in tap water. It doesn't matter. You can put it in a shake if you really want. You can put it in your protein shake. People do that. Here are some tips for taking creatine. You need to be very well hydrated when taking creatine. I would highly recommend putting more salt in your diet when supplementing creatine. I would also really recommend that you take in more electrolytes as well. I would also highly recommend that you do not take too high of a dose either. For better creatine absorption, I'd actually recommend you taking the creatine during a meal or when you're ingesting something. For example, carbs or like fruit juices or energy drinks or something like that because that can also help creatine uptake. I personally have like a pinch of Celtic salt before I take in any water because it basically allows water to be absorbed even more quickly into muscles. Something that is very important when it comes to creatine guys and girls and I mean this is patience. It may take a few weeks to see significant improvements in strength and muscle mass. Consistency is key. This is because for your body to gain the benefits of creatine, it needs to actually fully absorb the creatine in the creatine stores of the muscles. Because you can only take in a few grams per day, it will sometimes take time to reach peak creatine saturation levels. So just stay consistent and be patient. Now it's time to talk about a few spooky myths that circulate creatine and that are absolutely false. First up, we have the myth that creatine is a steroid. No, creatine is not a steroid. It is a naturally occurring compound found in small amounts in certain foods and is also synthesized by the body. While it can enhance performance, it does not have the same hormonal effects as anabolic steroids. People have also been spreading around a rumor that creatine causes kidney damage. There is no substantial scientific evidence to support the claim that creatine monohydrate damages the kidneys of healthy individuals. Numerous studies have shown that when used in recommended doses, creatine is safe for the kidneys. People have even gone as far as demonize creatine by saying that creatine causes weight gain from fat. Yes, creatine can lead to an increase in initial body weight. But this is mainly due to increased water retention in muscles. It does not directly cause weight gain from fat. In fact, some research suggests that creatine may promote fat loss by improving metabolism and increasing exercise performance. In the future, I'm going to make a top 10 L takes on creatine video. So feel free to subscribe and stick around if you want to see something like that. At the end of the day, guys, creatine monohydrate is a S plus supplement that I believe almost everyone should use if you want to see better gains in the gym consistently so if it works really well for me it should work really well for you as well anyway that's it for this video i would like to thank you very much for watching feel free to subscribe like the video and comment and share it to your friends that are not 100 sure if they should use creatine because they think it's uh, anabolic steroids or something like that feel free to do that uh, because I, I hope this video will sway their minds and uh, hopefully it has swayed your mind as well if you also believe that creatine would cause kidney damage or even make you bald or some stupid statement that people come up with that makes absolutely no sense uh, once again thank you very much for watching and i would love to see you in the next video bye bye